back to my channel if you're new here make sure to like comment and subscribe i'm doing a little bit of a different kind of video today i don't usually do big hauls like this but i'm gonna tell you guys a little background story on this haul so my family and i were supposed to be going to jamaica the week before last but because of the coronavirus pandemic we could not go anymore but i had already spent all this money on all these clothes and stuff and hopefully we will go this summer we're supposed to reschedule but if the coronavirus doesn't clear up then we're not gonna be able to go this summer so anyway i just wanted to show you guys the clothes and other stuff that i got when i was supposed to be going to jamaica and I want to make light out of this dark situation so without further ado I'm gonna get right into the video so I'm gonna start with the accessories I have two pairs of sunglasses first this first pair is from pa this first pair is from Fashion Nova they're round glasses with a like almost a cheetah print um yeah <laughs> a cheetah print background so they're just round glasses from Fashion Nova I feel so bougie in these. That's why I ordered them. I really like these glasses. So I'll have the picture of the product and the price on the screen here. Because I don't, I honestly don't remember all the prices and stuff. But I'll make sure to list it for you guys. And I'll have the links in the description to items that have links. So these are the round glasses for Vash and Oba. My next pair of sunglasses is this black pair from... Where do I get these from? These are from AliExpress. So I'm just gonna put them. Yeah, yeah Grandma! Can we get Madison on the bathroom please? Okay, so I'm back. But like I was saying, these are the square glasses from. Uh, where are these from? These are from AliExpress. And I'm just gonna try them on for you guys. I like these glasses, it makes me feel kind of cool or whatever. Um, and yeah, these were actually pretty cheap. Again, I don't have the price on the screen, I don't remember, but I remember they weren't that expensive. Next, I'm going to show you guys my purses and my fanny packs. So, this is my first purse. It's like one of those round purses that I see floating around on Instagram. I'm going to show up, stand up, and show you guys. And this is the other side. I picked this up because I wear a lot of red. Red is one of my favorite colors. And I like the pattern on it. And I also like the shape. It's almost round except for the bottom. So yeah. I got this from a store called Gabe's. And it was $12.99. The inside has is good on space and everything and it even has like a place for you to put your cards and stuff. So yeah, I like this purse. And you could also take the straps off and just carry it as a bag or like a satchel. My next purse, it's more of like a like a really small bag, but it's like this flat like satchel. It's like a crossbody. It's like a crossbody purse. And I like this. I actually got this as a Christmas gift from my aunt. So I don't know exactly how much it costs. But it's not very good on space at all. Like I could probably put my phone in here and my keys. And that's about it. But I do like the pattern. And you know. Yeah. Next thing is this fanny pack. It says Juicy. I don't know if you guys can see the colors and everything. Hold on. Yeah, it says Juicy on it. And it has the little um, Juicy charms. It's from Juicy Couture. And the back just has Juicy Couture, Juicy Couture um, monogram on it. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on. So it just looks like this. 
this shirt is so like flowy but yeah it looks like this and i really like this it caught my eye because it was different and i like how it said juicy on the front this actually still has the tags on it because i didn't get a chance to use it it was 12 with the tag will focus Gosh. Yeah, it was $12.99 at Burlington Coat Factory. But it still had the Juicy Couture tag as well. And if I had purchased it from them, it would have been $69. I don't know why it's not focusing. Yeah, it would have been $69. Okay, this is my last accessory. It's a fanny pack, which is like, ref not reflective, but it's shiny and it's black. And it's just a regular black fanny pack. It's basic, but it's essential because it can go with anything really. And yeah, as far as space, oh, I forgot to show you guys the spacing and the Juicy Couture thing. But as far as spacing, it's good on space. You can put your phone or whatever in there. And then this is the part where you can put like your change and your extra money from the day. I'm about to show you guys the spacing and the Juicy Couture. Okay, that. Like I said, it's brand new. I didn't even take the stuff out of it yet. Ooh, this is fancy. So the inside has a monogram as well. And it has the little Juicy Couture um, label or whatever. And it's good on space. It's about as good as the other one minus the front pocket. And there's an, upper, there's an extra zipper here for your extra money or whatever else you have. So this is it for the accessories. I'm gonna move on to the shirts. So this is the first shirt that I got. It is from Zara. And I got, it caught my eye because of the big puffy sleeves. I like that. And I can't quite remember the price. I think it was 30 something, especially because it came from Zara. I think it was like 30 something, but I like it. It's cool the next top and of course i'll be trying these pieces on and putting a split screen so you guys can see what they look like on this piece is actually a tie top one of those tops that tie in the front and it has like the bell bottom sleeves or whatever i love this top it's so and it blends right in with my skin almost so it looks really good on me um this is from aliexpress it was 13 yeah it was 13 dollars i believe i got this over the summer actually but i never got a chance to wear it it still has the tags attached and everything um they don't have a price tag on it though it's just like a tag from the store and this would go good with like a pair of jeans and some flip-flops i really like this shirt okay the next shirt we have is actually a graphic tee. Let me show you guys. It says Brooklyn's Finest and it has a picture of Biggie and Jay-Z. And this is from Hot Topic. All these shirts from Hot Topic are like $26.95 or something around that. But they have this deal where if you buy, I think it's if you buy one, you get the other one for a dollar. So all the shirts that I have from Hot Topic, I did not pay $26.95 for every single one of them. But yeah, I have a fetish for graphic tees now. I feel like since it's about to be summer or whatever, graphic tees are in. And you could just throw on a graphic tee, some biker shorts, and you'll have a fit. Next we have another t-shirt that is from Hot Topic. It is actually an Aaliyah tee. Because I like Aaliyah. I like her song At Your Best. It's my favorite by her. And I like the song Back and Forth too. 
it says princess of r&b and yeah i got the ones of people that i like and i admire and yeah i think Aaliyah was so beautiful and i love the like uh it's almost like diamonds like a diamond pattern on her name i love this and i couldn't leave it in the store Next, we have another Biggie graphic tee. It is a picture of him as a baby with a crown on, and it just says Biggie. I like this one because of the gold detail. It shimmers in the light and everything. And I also like Biggie's music. And, yeah. Like I said, I got graphic tees of the people that I like and I listen to. So, yeah. Oh yeah, all of these clothes are either a size small or extra small. I'm a size extra small usually, but sometimes I get small clothing depending on the brand. So next we have another graphic tee from Hot Topic. It's an Eminem tee. I listen to Eminem as well. I like his music. So I got a tee with him on it from Hot Topic. Um, as I was stated before, the Hot Topic tees were $26.95, but if you buy one, you get the other one for a dollar. The next graphic, this is the last one I have from Hot Topic, but the next graphic tee I have is a Ray Shrimmer one. <laughs> yeah, it's a Ray Shrimmer. Um, I like some of their music. I'm not really a huge fan. I don't listen to them a lot, but they do have some good music out. So I thought it would support and buy their t-shirt and I also thought this was cute and unique and it would be a great summer outfit. So yeah. The next top that we have is a Calvin Klein black t-shirt with the classic with the classic logo. So it just says CK and then through it it says Calvin Klein. Now, this came from Calvin Klein, obviously. I forgot how much these shirts run for. I'll post it here, of course. The next shirt that I have is a blue champion logo shirt. Is it focused? Can't even see. Yeah, a blue champion logo shirt. I did get this from Ross. It was $10 because Ross dressed for less, of course. The next shirt I have like a hunter green um, flowy sleeve, flowy bottom top from Forever 21's Contemporary Collection. Their Contemporary Collection is cute. It has a lot of modest pieces and I like it. Of course, so I'll make sure to include. And this was this is $15. I have this like shirt, it reminds me of like Colonial Times vibes because it has the little high neck, um, it's like a turtleneck but it's not, and then it has the, the puffy sleeves as well. So I did get this from the thrift store, I believe it was like $5 and the brand is Worthington. This tee is a, another graphic tee. It's a Snoop Dogg tee. It was him when he was younger, standing in front of a car. And it has his name in cursive here. This tee is from Fashion Nova. And I believe it's on their site for $20. But I'll have the correct information right here. The next top is actually a bodysuit. It says Spicy Margarita. It's also from Fashion Nova. I don't remember how much I paid for this. I think their bodysuits were like $15. So 
So that's probably how much it was. I actually wore this in one of my Instagram photos. So make sure to go like it up for me and follow me on Instagram as well. I'll have the stuff in the description. But yeah, this is nice. It's just a spicy margarita. I don't wear it often. I have it in my summer clothes bin in my room. But it's really nice. I have this top that says emotional and it has like colors that um I don't know if it's just me but they remind me of like school when I was I don't know if you guys can see the colors. They remind me of like school when I was young, the bright yellow, the red and the blue. I just remember being excited to go to school when I was a kid and seeing colors like this. This was from Wish. Wish has like the cutest tops for the low. Like this was like three dollars and then you just have to pay shipping, which is like a dollar or two. But there's one catch. You do have to wait a long time, about two or three weeks for it to arrive and probably more because of the coronavirus pandemic that has been going on that's why i haven't been ordering anything from china lately because of the shipping times but they do have very cute stuff for the low i'll leave a picture and the price right here so you have the exact details and i'll also leave it in the description but yeah i also wore this in my previous my second second <laughs> i mean the video before last my hair routine i wore this so go check that out if you haven't we're getting to the last of the shirts. This is just a black tube top. I wore this in one of my Instagram photos. I actually brought this top in Germany. If you haven't checked out my Germany vlog, go check it out. I brought this there. It was $4, I remember, because I got the black one and the white one together, and they were $4 each. And I just like tube tops. I like the way they fit and everything and yeah this next top I got from forever 21 it's like a off-the-shoulder black top and it's ribbed like when I say ribbed I mean like the material is like like that it has lines and then stuff so it's ribbed and it's meant to be off the shoulders and I did wear this, but I didn't take any pictures in it, so I'm going to wear it again and take pictures. This is another graphic tee. It's the Breakfast Club. I just remember being a kid and seeing the Victoria's episode where they had the breakfast bunch, and it was based off of them. I never actually saw the movie with them, but I felt connected to them because of that. But it's just a graphic tee with them on there. And I did get this from Plato's Closet, which is like not a thrift store in my city. It's like a, um, a, um, like a, they buy clothes and they sell them for a higher price than they bought them. So it's not a thrift store because you're, they're buying it. You're not just giving it to them. So, oh, this was $6. So this is another graphic tee, which has... Paintings by Vincent Van Gogh on there. And it says, what is done in love is done well. And it just has his different paintings on there. And, yeah. I got this from Ross. Another type of Ross, Dress for Less. And I remember, this was $10. I remember because my mom didn't want to buy it because she didn't like it. But she ended up buying it for me anyway. <laughs> I know my mom's gonna watch this, so I had to say that. But yeah, I like it. I just like it. It reminds me of when I was in Germany. The next top is the identical one to the black one I just showed you guys. It is a tube top. And I don't think I've worn this one yet. I don't think I've worn this one yet. Um, just this white tube top. It was $4 from Germany. But of course you can get them in the U.S. as well from any clothing store. This is another graphic tee from Fashion Nova. This one has Ice Cube in it, on it, driving a car. And I did get this from the men's section of Fashion Nova. 
I believe it was 20 something, $20 around that mark. I'll leave the price. But I just like, I love graphic tees. <laughs> so yeah. So the last top that I ended up getting was this black bodysuit from Fashion Nova. It's called the Don't Don't Be Square Bodysuit. Um, I liked it because the top was straight across like that. This is a size extra small. I wish I would have got a small and I wish I would have known that this was a thong because I wouldn't have ordered it. I don't like thongs. So when I put it on it was just like ugh. But I like the way the top looks nonetheless. Now I'm going to move on to the pants. I have four pairs of pants here. The first pair of pants are from H&M and they're this black vinyl material. I really wanted a pair of pants like this because I like the way they shine when you wear them and you can either dress them up or dress them down. The only thing, they're size zero and the only thing that I don't like about them is that they fit like, like tight to the skin. <laughs> And I was expecting like a little breathing room, but nonetheless, they're very cute, and I'm, I don't regret my purchase. These were $14.99 in H&M, I believe. I don't keep my seats, so I don't know. Um, the next pair of pants is this pair from Fashion Nova. They're made to look like they're run down, but they're made like that. They're not really run down, and they even have like thick rips. In the knee part and they are bell bottom pants so I believe these are called the Elizabeth jean or something like that I do remember that these are $44.99 from Fashion Nova and they're a size 3 the bell part is very big too look at this compared to my face <laughs> The next is a pair of leggings from Adidas. Um, they're just the basic three stripe leggings and they go all the way down. This part is just a reflective part in case you're running or something. And they have another reflective part. And then it's just basic Adidas leggings. But they're essentials, I like them. They're a size small, a US small. Um, and yeah, there's not pr too much to explain about these. They are pretty self-explanatory. And the back just says, climb a light, right there, in reflective. The last pair of pants that I have is this rainbow, these rainbow pants. They are the type of pants that hug the butt and have the bell bottoms. The type that the that I see a lot on Instagram, the bell bottom pants that hug the butt, and I had to get me a pair because I wanted to see what the hype was about. These are from Rainbow. I usually don't shop at Rainbow because I feel that their clothes look cheap, but every now and then you do find good finds in Rainbow. I also like their sandals. Next we'll be doing shorts and then I'm going to move on to the two piece sets. So these jean shorts are from Aeropostale. They're like the acid, can you guys see them or do they look white? Yeah they're like the blue acid wash jean shorts. They're super cute to me and they match almost anything. They have the little fake rips in them that make them really cute and these are essentials for my summer outfits next I just have some black workout shorts with the mesh on the side of the shorts and these are just essentials for working out and staying fit so yeah these are spandex shorts These neck shorts, I got them off of Wish a while ago. They just have elephants on them. 
and I pretty much just wear these in the house because they're actually really short but I do love the pattern and they were like a dollar or two like I said before which it has really good deals you just have to wait on shipping I have this pair of gray Nike shorts and these are for just working out as well and the band says you just do it you can flip over and wear it like that and these are a size small from Nike and I usually just use these to lounge in or work out if I ever decide to do that and the last pair of shorts is the pair of jean shorts we have to, the pair of jean shorts that I have on right now and yeah oh shoot guys I forgot to show you guys two pairs of pants they were still in the suitcase and I just went back to get the two piece sets and I remember that I have two more pairs of pants so this pair of pants is from pink which is linked to Victoria's Secret it just has the sequins here and then it just says pink like a pink tape monogram all the way through it's a size extra small and they're just chill sweatpants I really love them so much because they're just chill and comfortable but still cute these were $45 I think in pink I don't really remember but I think they were $45 The last pair of pants that I have, I ordered these from Fashion Nova. They're the Kylie Cadet Camo Pants. And they're, I think they're currently sold out right now. But these are $37.99, I believe. And they do have pockets in the back. And they are a jogger camo pant. So, and they're a size small. I realized that I do better in smalls from Fashion Nova than extra smalls because extra smalls are just too much. Okay, now we can really get into the two-piece sets. So the first two-piece set that I'm going to show you guys is a white blazer jacket set. The blazer is from Forever 21 and it is size small. I don't know if you guys can see the details. And it's just a regular white blazer. This actually did not come as a set. I brought the blazer and the pants separately, but they match perfectly. So they're just white pants to go with the white blazer. And the pants are from Talbots. And they're four petites, which is a little big on me. I'm usually a zero to a two, but they work. So yeah, that's just the pieces to my two piece set that I made. And you, and I'm going to dress this up with probably a black bodysuit and some heels. The next two-piece set is a two-piece set from Sheen, Sheen, however you want to say it. I never knew how to pronounce it, but um, it's the pink, like, it's a little longer than a bralette, but it's not a full top either. So it's like a pink top. And it comes with the matching pink biker shorts. And this is size extra small from Shein. I did wear this on my Instagram already. So make sure you go give my picture a like for me. My next two-piece set is from Lounge Apparel US. So it is the tan Lounge Apparel set. These run for $65.99 on the website plus shipping and this is size extra small this is like the cutest workout wear ever guys and it came with the matching leggings and it just says lounge on the front is it focused yeah it just says lounge on the front it looks so bougie and i love that but they're just leggings the next two piece set that I got, um, I was a bit disappointed in because one, I ordered it from AliExpress and it took a really long time to come. And when it did come, it was way too big. I tried to wash it and dry it to see if it would shrink, but I don't know if it did because I didn't retry it on yet. But of course, I'm going to do that for you guys. It's a graffiti bodysuit with the matching pants, and you're supposed to wear the bodysuit over top of the pants to give the effect that the sides of your stomach are out. 
and the leggings don't they just look big guys like look at me and then look at these they just look big and i hate that i hate when clothes are too big but we'll see this was 15 dollars if it's i expect it to fit i got the smallest size they had and it's really big The next two-piece set I got is from, where is it from? I don't know where it's from. It's from one of these stores, for real. But it is a, like a bra workout, like a workout sports bra top. And it just came with the matching biker short leggings. I love burgundy. Burgundy looks so good on me, doesn't it? The next, this is not really a two-piece set. One is from Fashion Nova, one is from Fila. But I I just thought this went together so well. So I made it into a set myself. So it's just this black top from Fashion Nova. The one that they always uh, pose with Kylie in it. I think this is $13.99 on their site. And I just paired it with these super cute Fila biker shorts and it just says fila on each side these were the cutest i had to pick them up when i saw them um i got these from burlington with at the same time when i got the fanny pack from the beginning of the video and these were 12.99 as well as the fanny pack the next two piece set that i got was from fashion nova as well it's like this little top it's like not even really a crop top. It's like a straight across bra. Almost. And it comes with the matching shorts to go with it. So it's like a beach day slash island day outfit. I mean you could wear it elsewhere. But I plan to wear it on the island. And. Yeah. The next two piece set. That we have is also from Shane it's um uh, it's a snake skin print and I, I like it because it like matches with my skin well I believe the colors and this is like a bra top it is shorter than the other Shane thing but it's also a biker short set because it comes with the matching biker shorts and it's extra small as well and again, I got this for Sheen. I believe this was $9. And the other set was $8. This next set comes from Forever 21. Their contemporary collection again. And it is this green uh, button top. It doesn't really button up, but it has like the buttons as decoration. And it's just a green top. And it has the skirt to come with it. The skirt is actually really long. I don't really like that. It's real long. <laughs> real long. But, um, and it just has a pocket. It has one pocket in the back, which is dumb to me. If you're going to add pockets, add both pockets. Like, <laughs> whatever. It's so cute. And my last, I believe this is my last. My last two-piece set is this rust-colored bandeau top. <laughs> this rust-colored, this rust-colored bandeau top, and it comes with matching rust-colored pants. It's from H and M. This set, by the way, and it comes with matching rust-colored pants. <sighs> yeah. It's a size extra small. Okay, now that we've worked our way through that. Now that we've worked our way through the two-piece sets, I'm going to show you all the skirts. So the first skirt that I got is this pink plaid skirt. It reminds me of the Clueless Share outfit but the only difference is it's pink and it has a buckle um i also purchased this in germany me and my girl malaya was shopping 
like crazy in Germany. We got all these clothes and brought them back. But this is just the cutest to me. Such a statement piece. I also have this basic jean skirt. It is from Dollhouse. Um, it's just basic jean, blue jean skirt. The next skirt that I have is from Champion. I love it because it is, it has a monogram tape print on the side which says Champion and it has the little Champion logo here. And the best part about this is it's reversible. So if you don't want to wear white or what you're wearing doesn't match white, then you can wear it red as well. And it has the same thing on the other side. I have another jean skirt, which is from, where is this from? It says Can Chen, Los Angeles. I don't know what, what that is. I probably brought it from like Burlington or something or Ross. And it's just a plain blue jean skirt. It has the tag ripped out, but I use this tag, and it's written all in cursive, so I don't know what it, what it was saying, but I, I read Kenshin, so that must be what it is. The final skirt that I have is this, it's from Forever 21, it's extra small, and it's like overalls, but it's a skirt, so it's like it has the overall part, and it's still a skirt. With the zipper on the back. And yeah, I feel like this will look really nice with a turtleneck or something of that nature. Now that I blew through the skirts as well, we can move on to the dresses. Mm -hmm. Okay. The first dress that I have for you guys today is this long green maxi dress. It is, I like it because it's so long and I wore it once but I didn't take any pictures. I just think it's so cute. I also got this from Gabe's. I got something else in the fall from Gabe's but I got this from Gabe's for $5.99. It is a size small and it fits just right. This next dress is from Fashion Nova. I wore it, this was my New Year's outfit. And I wore it, uh, obviously to a New Year's party. It's just long, a long white dress and it has the slit in it. And I wore this with the glass slipper heels from Fashion Nova. I already wore this, so I'm not gonna try it on, but I'll insert my pictures here. And this was just so elegant and pretty. And I felt very special wearing it, so I decided to add that to my haul. The next dress is also is from H and M. It's from H and M Basics. It is just a plain tan dress. It's in a size small, and I imagine it was about eight or nine dollars since it's from the basic section. This is starting to get ridiculous, guys. Look at these clothes piling up. And then the other ones are over in the other side of the room. The next dress that I have is this like rose pink dress with the crisscross in the front. I remember buying this a few years ago. It's from a brand called Say Anything. But I believe I got it from Ross. And I can't even tell you guys what size it is because the, the tag is faded away. But uh, it's a size extra small or small because that's what I wear. But mm. the next dress that I picked up is a Tommy Hilfiger dress. 
I it caught my eye because it was navy blue and it had that polo look. But then if we look closer, it is a dress. Uh, this is a size extra small. And I wore it, so I'm not going to try it on, but I'm going to insert the picture. It's just like the white dress. This next dress is from Forever 21. I haven't worn it yet. I believe it still has the tags on it. Yes, it does. It was $19.90 from Forever 21. If it'll focus. Never wants to focus, but it was $19.90. And it's a it's a band dress. So it says Kiss. And it's just a rock band. I don't know them or listen to them, but I like the graphic tee look, especially if it's in a dress. The bottom also has lace to go around it, so that caught my eye as well. And it is a size small. The next dress is a sparkly one. I got this one from Forever 21. Believe it or not, this was actually, they've been doing sales on the basement level for $5. This dress was $5. And I said, I don't know where I'm going to wear it, but I'll find somewhere to wear it because it's $5. But uh, I don't like the way it fits me because it's, I said earlier for something else. I don't have the big boobies for this type of cutout. Like, it's not small chest friendly it's not at all it's not this dress is from burlington as well it's just a white dress and it has the top cut out like so and it's just white and long sleeves and the top the cut out part and the ribbed fabric is what really caught my eye about this dress this was 12.99 from burlington Everything I got from Berlin's was $12.99. But yeah, guys, that's it for my haul today. I thank you guys for watching. If you made it this far, you a real one. You a real one. But make sure you like this video. Comment. Let me know that you got to the end, that you're supporting, that you're riding for me. <laughs> let me know that you got to the end. And as always, I ask you guys to subscribe. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. And...